Hey, what's going on? I got another topic for the whiteboard chat. I just left the gym, had this conversation with my client. I figured I should get it on video quick so I could upload it and provide you with accurate information because this is somewhat of an interesting topic where I think there is a lot of misinformation. We're going to talk about fasted cardio, how it works. I'm going to explain it here in the background. I wish I could zoom in. I'm just too lazy to have another camera person do it, but for the most part, I'll explain it to you and then I'll link it below so you have a little bit of a, a kind of a guideline of what I'm talking about here. Uh, but ultimately, fasted cardio. Now, I read, I see different things that say fasted cardio is the secret to fat loss. It's just not really true. Uh, I'll explain that here in a second. There, that doesn't mean that you should do fasted cardio. That doesn't mean that you should eat something before you do cardio. It's completely up to you. Some people feel better when they just do, uh, you know, like a banana or protein shake pre-workout early in the morning, or some people feel better if they just do fasted cardio. The notion behind it or the, the theory behind it, which kind of makes sense, is that, hey, if you don't eat anything and you're fasted for eight hours and you end up going and working out, it's going to pull from your fat cells versus pulling from, you know, the energy sources that are in your stomach or the food that you ate. Uh, it's just not the case. And if you want to kind of break it down here, there's two things that happen for you to lose weight. It's lipolysis and it's oxidation. So what happens is when you start working out, you're going to go through with lipolysis, fat free, or I should say fatty acids are released into the bloodstream. So your fat cells release fatty acids. They go into the bloodstream. Oxidation occurs. That oxidation is then going to take that process and put it into your muscle, liver, heart for energy. Okay. So that process is pretty simple. Now, what happens is you're going to end up releasing, if you do fasted cardio, far more fatty acids. So in theory, it's like, wow, at least release far more fatty acids. The problem is, is oxidation doesn't increase as well. That's just going to stay the same, whether that happens with fasted cardio or just traditional cardio where you eat something. So that needs to occur. That needs to increase in order for you to actually burn more during that time. That doesn't happen. So just based off of that, it doesn't make any difference if you're eating anything or not, even though more lipolysis occurs, doesn't speed up that process. So I wanted to kind of make this as simple as possible. I didn't get too sciencey on the whole thing because when that st starts to happen, it starts to suck and it gets boring to watch. But just understand that it's not going to speed up the process. You can still do it. Anyone can still do, you know, fasted cardio. Anyone could eat beforehand. If you're going to eat beforehand, just understand that that counts towards your macro count throughout the whole day. You can still lose weight both ways. So it is a misconception. It doesn't mean that it's right or wrong in it to an extent. It's just kind of whatever you feel, but having the mindset that it's going to help you lose fat quicker, that's just not true. Uh, so below I've linked up a couple different uh, sources and kind of explained everything that I just explained in here. I hope that's beneficial to you. Uh, so whatever floats your boat, have at it. Please subscribe to the YouTube page and I have a bunch more content coming your way. Thanks for watching.